What we're looking at here is a CHV P500Y. So this is around about a 50 kilowatt heat pump system. If we take into account for defrost and say around temperature, say around, let's say we're working around at zero degrees, we're probably looking at nearer to being sort of 43 kilowatts. So when we're doing our calculations, I'll be basing this around being a 43 kilowatt unit. But obviously that duty is going to vary dependent on outside temperature and what water temperature we're trying to achieve. So that's one of the things we're going to go through at the design stage to make sure you're going to get what you need out of this heat pump at your design conditions. We've actually got two separate modules here. So two separate refrigeration circuits, all completely hermetically sealed. I said, but two separate circuits. They are linked by the water pipe work. But say two separate refrigeration circuits. So we've got two sets of evaporators, which are the wraparound coils. You see around the actual unit. You've got two sets of compressors and they are scroll compressors and they're inverter driven. So I can ramp them up and down to suit the needs of the system. The fan on top of the unit is also inverter driven, so that can ramp up and down to suit the needs of the actual evaporator. A set of plate heat exchangers, so they're completely separate. Gives two big advantages of having these two separate refrigeration circuits. One is you've got a bit of redundancy there already. You've also got another advantage in that because they're hermetically sealed systems, you don't need to have an F gas qualification to actually work on this unit because the amount of refrigerant in the system is under the requirements and I say there's two hermetically sealed systems. Another advantage you have with having two separate circuits is that when half the coil needs to go into defrost, the other half of the system can carry on running and it'll actually steal a little bit of the energy for that defrost circuit from the other system that's already running, thereby reducing our defrost time. And it will only defrost one half of the system whether the other half of the system carries on working. So we don't have an effect where it's actually not doing any heating on hot water. What you see is a drop off in duty for that short period of time, say three or four minutes, whilst it does its defrost. There are three phase units, and that three phase is coming in onto that main unit and it feeds from the main off to the actual subunit. So, so that's the CHV P500Y.